Uh, good morning. My name is Aaron Rowe. I'm one of the operations section chiefs for Team 12 here on the Bedrock and Salmon Fires. Uh, not much to report here on anything new that's on the Salmon Fire. Uh, things are looking really good. 95% uh, contained. Still have an uh, engine and a crew working on that uh, through the day. They're really working on uh, some just interior smokes and uh, basically downsizing uh, some logistical things there as well as fold the tanks and um, um, pulling pumps and those kind of things. So looking really good there. Moving on to uh, the Bedrock Fire. Uh, currently right now, I'll start down here in the Big Fall Creek community. Uh, still have the Oregon State Fire Marshals and our structure IA group uh, doing some final touches in there, looking very good in there, really ready for if a fire came out of there to protect those uh, homes. And uh, really the threat feels like a diminished threat in here, but really just making sure everything's really dialed in in terms of the hose lays and the dozer lines that are protecting that community and uh, things things are in a good place there uh, moving on to the alpha division here on the northwest side uh, we've we've been able to hold this direct all the way across the north fork of fall creek here and have come all the way up to on this little chunk of warehouser land here there is a a little area here we're trying to assess this morning on whether we can go direct or not um, or we have a backup plan of, of involving this uh, area right here. So uh, with the weather conditions today, I think we're feeling optimistic that we can go direct in there, but time will tell as uh, they can try to do the right thing on the ground. Uh, moving across the top here, we have some warehouser personnel looking at a um, tethered feller bunter uh, operation, doing some fairly steep slopes uh, on the north end of the warehouser property as more of a contingency line and or uh, a, uh, a primary line basically down the property boundary. That's being looked at right now and assessed that may be going later in today uh, at a later time uh, that equipment's getting on the ground as we speak. Uh, also, uh, some further assessments being done and or burning opportunities going slightly indirect uh, in this chunk here on the uh, 1817 and the 1818 road there there is going to more than likely be some burning done in there today uh, basically tying this fire edge down to the road uh, doing some further scouting just behind that trying to stitch all these little road systems and ridge lines together here so uh, things are um, still coming together in terms of the plan there um, but uh, we're, we're coming up with that plan day by day. It's just a really tough chunk of ground in there to, to um, come up with the right plan. And we're trying to come up with the right plan on the right ridge and the right road. So um, uh, we did populate this with the division delta in here. So that's another thing that's going on. So there's, there's a, a span of control thing and or just a geographical change in there that we're trying to address and, and make sure that uh, the right people are looking at the right chunk of ground. So, yeah, so that's all I'm going to say about that. Moving on to Division uh, Juliet. Uh, Juliet, uh, all the way from uh, this DP-17 uh, east of Little Cowhorn Mountain, all the way around into Hee Hee Creek here. Things are looking really good. Just some further mop-up going on in there. Uh, hasn't been an issue for any mul multiple days. It's been looking very good in there. Uh, moving on to Division Lima. Uh, the burnout that happened quite a long time ago on Symbol Ridge, still looking good. There is some heat down in kind of some dirty burn area here that they're going to try to look into, see if we can address some of those things, but really largely looking really good in the Lima and Juliet area. Uh, we're probably going to be showing some black on the map here on this Division Lima side um, where we were burning on the uh, 1832 many days ago feeling really confident about that. So you'll probably start to see more continuous black on this edge here. Uh, going down in Division Oscar, really looking good here. We're monitoring this. Probably won't ever see any black on the map while our team's here, but just know that we're monitoring that because it's in just a place we're just not going to put people on. Uh, continuing on to the rest of Oscar, looking really good. Um, all the way around what we're calling the boot. Uh, there are some things Division Oscar's uh, looking at down here in terms of some further prep uh, we were made aware from our resource advisors that there's some uh 
there's some uh, like an old hunter's cabin and some lookouts that need some further prep work to do. So they're addressing those items today. Uh, and then finally moving back into Division Yankee where a lot of uh, really good work is occurring and, and will be occurring. Um, I, I, last night, the uh, zigzag hotshots um, were putting in some firing uh, basically from DP73 down to the Wi-Fi signal here. Uh, that got completed and or is still in progress. Uh, just some further securing of that is going to occur today. Uh, moving across here, uh, largely direct on the 170 road. This map's a little outdated, so uh, on the 170 road, we should be fairly secure here with this fire edge now. Uh, moving around the horn here, we went basically direct with the feller buncher and a dozer, uh, securing this. And then there's just a final piece down here that they're going to put in today to connect it down to the 18 road. That's, a, that's in progress, came off a real steep um, hillside here and trying to connect all the dots down to the 18. Should be complete with a little bit of firing going in there today. Uh, lastly, uh, there's, there is some multiple contingency lines going on, uh, you know, here, down here, here, across here, through here. There's multiple contingency lines going in place and... Uh, 72 hours out we're looking at having a majority of those complete but those are good backup plans for us to have uh for if a, a unexpected event was to arise uh other than that uh we do still do have uh initial attack under our temporary flight restriction we're well prepared for that uh with the structure ia groups uh ready to respond to that if if another need was to arise that's all i have for today thanks for watching